Hi guys, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures and today we're talking about what makes for really bad herbicide spraying conditions, specifically temperature inversions. You can see behind me we have all of this smoke hanging in the air. About a mile north of us we had someone that had their burn pile going and this caused all the smoke to rise but instead of continuing to rise it is just sitting a couple hundred feet off the ground and you can see it moving vertically instead of moving horizontally. Why is this bad and what is it? Well, I already mentioned it's a temperature inversion. Normally, as you increase with height, the temperature would decrease. But with a temperature inversion, that's actually inverted. So let's say on the morning that I take off to go fly, it's 60 degrees sitting down here on the load pad. Well, I take off and climb up 100 or 200 feet and my temperature reading that I'm getting outside actually is increasing. Maybe it's 70 or maybe it's 75 degrees. That's a really bad sign that whatever I'm gonna be spraying can easily pick up and move from my target location. Why does this happen? Well, for us here in the Midwest, it usually occurs on days and nights that are really clear, so there's no cloud cover, and really hot. So usually what happens is as the evening approaches, the temperature starts to decrease rapidly and that causes the ground to also cool rapidly and that cool air wants to move up. However, the air above it is warmer because it's not cooling as rapidly as the ground. So this cool air that you're having come up and it wants to mix with the air above it, it's not actually mixing. And that warmer air above it is making it hang in the air. And that's kind of what you're seeing behind me. Now that one, like I said, is a couple hundred feet off the ground, but in the evening when I'm spraying, I can see cars driving down these dirt roads and literally the dirt does not move off the road more than a foot. However, it drifts into these fields behind me and it'll drift for a half a mile or a mile, especially when we get into harvest and they've got all of the dust coming off the combines. You can easily see it then. I mean, as far as the eye can see, you can just see all of this dust that's moving with it, whatever direction the wind is moving. Now that's bad because if you're spraying and you want that product to go straight down into the field, well, if it gets into that temperature inversion air, it's actually not dropping, it's just sitting there hanging and it's going to drift and move whatever direction the wind is moving. This can easily make it go a quarter or a half a mile or even a mile away before it's dispersed into whatever field is a mile away in the direction that the wind's moving it. So again, this is very bad. You don't wanna be spraying a herbicide in these conditions. So for me personally, I usually wait till eight or nine o'clock in the morning, and I'm usually shutting down with herbicide around seven or eight o'clock in the evening. Again, depending on the conditions, how hot it is, if the wind is actually moving, or if it's completely calm. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Appreciate you watching. Please make sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Again, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures.